Hello, I'm Ali Sloan and welcome to my studio. So what I'm going to do today is show you how to uh, add colour to your pearlescent glaze. Uh, this is one that I did earlier. I really, really love it. Uh, there's basically, I painted it in Oxford Navy, then I did a, a matte varnish over it, and then I painted these sort of flower plants, whatever you call them, um, in white. So, and these are the colours I used on top of them, mixed with the glaze. So I'm going to use these boards to demonstrate how I did it. So I painted uh, some using white. There's my white paint. Um, and just making marks like that, either short ones or with a little detail brush, you can do little short ones, little fat ones, any mark you like. Um, and then when that's dry, I've taken some pearl paint. Uh, there's my pearl, pearl paint, pearl glaze. So there's my pearl glaze. Um, this is, uh, it looks white, but it's in fact translucent. So I've got a, a, some there, and then I'm going to add just a little tiny bit of a colour. So let's start with burgundy. So burgundy is quite a strong colour. A little tiny bit of that and it will make the most beautiful pink. So you need very, very little. You don't want to have lots and lots of it there. And then you can go over that. And I'd go right over it. So you go to the right to the edge. Sometimes I've just done a little bit of a little line through it. So it does look oh, a little bit more. So it looks a little bit like a a tulip or something, <laughs> just something to give it a little bit of shape. Uh, and then I'm going to do that with each one. Sometimes I've also, on that piece there, I think, I just used the glaze on its own, making the brush marks into the stripes that you want, so it gives you the shape of the piece. You can do a second colour onto there, a, a second layer, so there's now three onto that one, and that gives it a little bit more strength. But you can mix any colours you like. So I'm going to add a little bit of to that glaze, a little bit of blue. There's a little one there. And I quite like the fact that that white there is done so that it's solid in some places and thinner in others. That will give you again a nice, nice sort of surprise to it all. Something that's not completely flat. So that's it. That's how I did it. Um, along the sides here, I just did layers and layers uh, of colour. I could just keep on doing it. And maybe not doing it everywhere. So a little bit, you'll get a little bit to the red. I've done other bits where there's more blue on it. So it gives this beautiful, beautiful, shimmery, sort of mermaidy look. So that's it. There's nothing that I need to do over this. I don't need to protect it. The glaze um, is going to be strong enough to withstand anything. The, the parts that are in the navy, they're already lacquered. So it's all done, finished. And it's a lovely, lovely sort of shimmery look on it.